Hello, I am your friend Prem Asim, and today I am going to tell you about anonymous class. So here is our main method. Let's say learning anonymous classes. Okay, let us do a test run. Okay, cool. Now before learning to anonymous class, let us see a class so let's assume i have a class which is called as men and uh, let's say i have a method which says move and just a dummy implementation here we will just do a sys out man is moving right now i am going to make an instance of this man class so let's say I am making a common man here is equal to new man there we go now I have got the uh, object reference of this so I, I can obviously call the method let's say move here and let us try to run it okay so here it says man is moving right now for an instance i want to override a method which is you know move in this man so let us come with a superman let's say superman is a class now when i say i want to instantiate it with men i cannot so here comes the role of anonymous class what we can do here is this is a man and we can override a class with these braces and make it a superman so how we can do it so here in this braces it's a start of an anonymous class starting and closing okay so let me just tell you it again in this way this is a normal class and if you want to make an anonymous class you just need to put these two brackets and there you go you will get your anonymous class so now what we can do with it let us try to implement or override some method so let's say i am trying to override this new method i have generated here and after overriding it maybe the superman movement is flying okay so i say superman is flying okay now we have two objects one is common man and one is superman superman dot move now when i run it let's try to run it so this is a class which like on the go we have created after the instance that's called the anonymous class so this has a, uh, this is an anonymous class now there are several other advantages of this anonymous class first is uh, like uh, you might have heard that you cannot instantiate an interface something of this sort interface plant okay and it has a method which is called as grow what's wrong here interface okay there we go now what i am trying to achieve here is i am trying to make a plant plants object let's say plant is equal to new plant can i do it java does not allow it there is some error let's read it plant is abstract and cannot be instantiated right so what we can do we can implement the methods so here it has created an anonymous class with the quick fix or maybe what you can do here is as i told you, you just need to put two brackets and against the interface you can do implement abstract method 
so you have instantiated the interface here let us do a sys out plant is growing there we go so let's run it okay now we need to call this method so plant dot grow with the round brackets now we'll run it plant is growing okay now uh, this is we have learned about uh, uh, you know creating the anonymous class out of the main class out of the interface now there is a third saying that you cannot instantiate a abstract class let us try to uh, create a abstract abst abstract class woman since men class is already been made and women do a lot of talking so we will create a method here which says talk and of course this method is abstract abs okay so what we are going to do here is instantiating this abstract class so similarly we will do something here woman woman is equal to new woman this is not allowed it says it's a abstract class and you cannot instantiate so if you need to instantiate you need to create a subclass i mean maybe you need to create an anonymous class and then you can do you know implement all these abstract methods and let us do woman loves gossips so let us create an instance so here we will create we are going to call this method and we will run it so now you can see woman loves gossip plant is growing man is moving so we had uh, just to recap uh, what we have learned in this session is we have initially started with our public static void main and with our main class like a normal main class which had one move, uh, method which is move so we have created an anonymous class and when we have instantiated it on the go we have override it so this is very useful especially when you are using wicket apache wicket framework or swing wherever you need to create you sub you need a subclass but you don't need an instance that time you can do subclassing like this second thing what we have learned here is uh, we have instantiated the interface which is plant which had a abstract method kind of grow and uh, we have uh, mm, you know mm, in overridden like implemented its method grow through the anonymous class and uh, we have ran it and it worked successfully and last thing which we learned is like people say you cannot create instance of woman so we have created the instance of woman just by you know implementing its abstract method with the help of anonymous class and we have just tried to run it so mm, hope you have learned something about anonymous class and uh, hope you will also try to run this code uh, to download the code uh, you can visit www.premasim.com see you and uh, happy coding bye